My name is Daniela and I go by the name of this right be hair. If you want to see how I look from this to this, guys, then continue watching. Today I'll be doing the Falani slash lemonade braids. I think that's what they're calling it right now. They're also calling it the freestyle Falani braids. So whatever you want to call it, that's what I am doing today. And guys, the way I am feeling this hairstyle, this hairstyle is a 10 out of 10. I could say this is definitely this my second favourite hairstyle I've done this year. I'm, I'm loving this. This is summer hairstyle all the way. I get why this hairstyle is trending. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then continue watching. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're going to start off by parting in my hair in the middle from ear to ear. So I do that by parting in the middle of my hair and then from the middle of my hair I part it down to my each side of my ears. And then that will give you a front section and a back section. The front will be where the braids will be and the back will be literally my knotless braids as you see. So guys, at the back I start parting in my hair into five rows for the knotless braids guides so i do that by um using like two to three mirrors guys so i have one mirror in front of me i have two mirrors behind me and each mirror i'm able to see each part of my head and i braid each section just so i can see whether the parting is neat enough guys i can't lie i'm not like amazing at parting in my hair but this is just how, this is how I do it don't have to be perfect I cannot lie you're not going to be able to tell but yeah guys definitely recommend a lot of mirrors <laughs> when doing so as you see me do here So here you have your five section. Now today I'll be using gummy um, edge wax and I would like to thank at Lock Brace for sponsoring this video and sending me the Spanish Curls Human Braiding Hair, which guys, it was a, it's banging. So here I'm parting in my hair into four boxes and that's for the second row. I do that by parting in that row in half and then parting each side in half. And I have tons of videos of how I do knotless boho braids. But for those that haven't watched me before, I start by sectioning my hair into three sections and then start my first braid. Using my index finger and thumb, I slot the expression first in between the two and continue braiding. So index finger and thumb, I slot the expression in between the two and I continue braiding. I only use two expressions per braid. Now guys, with the curly hair, I put the curly hair upside down in the middle section of the braid and I continue braiding. I do it a few times. So I use, I put the curly hair upside down in the middle, middle section of the braid and I continue braiding. I added about six pieces of the curly hair for each section. Um, and then as I got to the top, I added about seven pieces. It's up to, it's your choice of how many pieces you would like to add. You can add more, you can add less. If you want to see the braid more, then you add less. If you want to see more of the curly hair, then I would say add the, um, add more curly hair. So at the top, I do it slightly different. I add the curling hair first and then I braid down 
then I add and then and then after I add the expression as you see here I add the two expressions straight after I add the curling hair first and that's because you want the curls to show a lot at the at the top and there's no point of adding it at the bottom because you can't really see it at the bottom so you can add it at the bottom more lower down but when you get to the top you want the curls to be popping at the top <laughs> hope that makes sense So as you can see here, I added three boxes on the first row, four boxes on the second row, five boxes on the third row, another five boxes on the fourth row and three boxes at the top. And guys, as you can see here, I leave a little part in there because I'm going to add another two boxes. So guys, this is when it gets creative. So as you can see here at the front, I part my hair into a C and then that C I part diagonally in half, as you see here. And that's going to create the nice little twirl. Um, with the gummy edge control, I mold it a little bit just so it looks more neater when braiding. And then literally, I then start braiding my hair into a little squirrel i'm not really good at explaining this bit but yeah and then i do add a little bit of expression in some of the braids um in the beginning but guys i cannot lie most of the time i add this expression at the end because i have thicker hair but for those that don't have thick thick hair um you can just add the hair in um as you go and you do you use the same method and that's using your index finger and thumb and you slot the hair in between the two and you just do that what i sprayed in instead but as you see here i then do the same thing by adding the curly hair i add about six or seven braids i mean i add about six or seven pieces um into the hair as you see here to continue that cute boho look So after that, as I do a normal row, but parted into the same C, and then I do that twice, guys. So, so far it's the swell, and then I part two rows into the little C, going straight. And I use the same method by doing adding the curling hair, like you're doing boho braids. And then I go on to doing the same thing like I'd done in the first braid. So I do the little swirl again. So I do that by again, parting in my hair in a C. And then at the bottom part, I part it in half diagonally. And then I start braiding a little, the cute little swirl. I then again go into doing two braids again um, behind that. And then after that, I create two more swirls, which you will see me do in this video. And then guys, yeah, that's literally how I create the cute swirl look. You can literally design the front however you like, but that's how I did it. Um, and it was easy. And guys, if you have thicker hair, you do not really need to add it in the beginning because that's what will make it much easier and much quicker for you to do. Because this part took me quick to do. Um, literally and then at the end is when i start adding the hair and the little curls and yeah guys i'm gonna show you what i do at the end but i hope you enjoy the video
so guys now i start doing my little cute baby hairs and that just helped a lot with this hairstyle so cute and then i go on to um dipping my hair in the water and guys look how well the curls keep after dipping it in hot water you see me with this cut with the human curl in here i always like to i always know whether the hair is good once i dip it in water and if the curls keep i know that the hair is 10 out of 10. this hair kept so well when dipping it in water and it's i love it i then go on to using the ors mousse um to, and go under the dryer for 10 minutes guys and that's it like this is how i created that cute look <laughs> and that's it guys this is the final look guys this hairstyle is a 10 out of 10 i am loving this look i feel so cute in this hairstyle i think this is my second favorite hairstyle this year second and guys look how well the lock braids curls has kept up after dipping it in water please like the curls are so good it actually kept its curl 10 out of 10 if you want to get these lock braids um, these lock braiding hair then guys check the link in the description below but guys look how oh. no no i love it it's 10 out of 10 i'm loving myself anyways guys i think i definitely recommend this hairstyle definitely the summer hairstyle definitely i get why this hairstyle is popping right now because i am loving it right now <laughs> anyways let me know what you guys would like to see next and guys don't forget to follow all my socials and yeah see you later guys bye